Hello, I'm Captain Israel Jean, Officer Commanding Basic Parachutist Course, Cadet Serial, here at Trenton Cadet Training Center. Hello, my name is Captain Diana Lane. Uh, this past summer I was uh, the Escort Officer on the Basic Parachutist Course, Serial 157. The Basic Parachutist Course is a four-week course. The first week is a pre-training week where the cadets arrive, get tested to ensure they meet the physical uh, requirements of the course, uh, and they conduct uh, other activities to make sure that their physical fitness stays at the level it is, needs to be in, as well as we introduce uh, elements of uh, mental fortitude uh, to get them mentally ready for the course when they move over to the Canadian Army Advanced Warfare Center. Once they move past that first week, this is where they start their parachute training. They are at the Warfare Center for a total of three weeks. For the first two weeks of ground stage, they learn multiple uh, skills. They go through equipment, they go through landing, they go through um, flight and aircraft drills, as well as uh, going to the mock tower and learning what they need to do at that obstacle. What does that all mean? Well, equipment is essentially the equipment that they need to bring with them when they are doing the act of parachuting. Landing, it is uh, what they need to do to safely land on the ground after they've been in flight. Aircraft drill is all the drills, safety drills, everything that they need to know and remember when they're inside of the aircraft. Now the mock tower is a big structure, it's a combination of a abseil tower and a zip line. The purpose of it is to assess the fear uh, of exiting the plane. The height that the structure is at is 32 feet. 32 feet is considered to be the height of fear. So any issues uh, in regards to uh, height will be identified there. But they also learn how to exit the plane and it's a great opportunity for them to practice the actual action of leaving a structure um, and then the structure takes over. One of the things that the Warfare Center does to get the cadets ready for the actual parachuting stage is uh, introduce a demo of how a parachute is packed and how it is deployed. And it's an opportunity for the cadets to trust the equipment and get comfortable with the act of parachuting. So what they'll do is they'll pack it and then they will uh, have two members. One person will wear the parachute, the other one will hold the parachute at its uh, tip and they'll explain each part of the deployment process as the parachute deploys from the back of the jumper to the plane. Once the ground training is done uh, and all candidates have been uh, successful on their performance objectives. They then move over to the J stage. J stage, it's jump stage. They put everything they learnt and they do the act of jumping out of a parachute. Now, to be successful on their course, they have to jump five times and each jump gets progressively harder. The first jump is simply with their parachute main on their back and their reserve parachute at their foot. First jump, oh, we were up in the aircraft. First time you got a parachute, on, live parachute on your back, your reserve in the front, and you're ready. You, you've been training, you know what to do. And so uh, that green light goes on, and in my mind, I'm like, it's my turn. So it was great. I was the first one from the course jumping out of the aircraft. So for me, it, it, it held something to heart. Move up, I look at the jump master, and I wait until he says the go, and he says go.
there was no doubt in my mind, in my equipment, in my abilities. It was just, do it. And that first moment where you feel the tug of your canopy open and you look up and you see it's open and it's supporting you. So this, this parachute is just there and you're, you're descending. You look around and you, you see trees, you see the ground and you just keep going and it's just such a, a mesmerizing feeling and then you see the ground coming and you know landings can be intimidating. I felt the ground rush so it's that moment where all of a sudden the ground you see it coming compared to like the, the entire way you're descending. I could feel the ground rush and I said all right this is it and I just braced for landing. I prepared myself and land away and I rolled on the ground and it was I took I took a couple seconds to myself and said I just I just did my first jump and I'll never forget that moment. There's still work to be done. You land, you land, but there's there's always an objective, right? But when you think of jumpers in general, and and when they actually need to jump, just because you got to enjoy uh, this on a nice sunny day, on a nice drop zone, the reality is if you're jumping somewhere, it's a mission. It's it's not done. It's not over. After all courses has to come a graduation parade. This graduation parade is uh, an opportunity to congratulate all those who were successful on the course, who uh, fought through some personal challenges to achieve this goal of theirs that they might have been training for a year or maybe two uh, to get to. You get on that parade square and you know, you know it's coming. You know that, that the wings that belong on your uniform that you worked so hard for, they're they're coming. They line up and the staff just comes to you and they put up, they stick them on with one hand and then they give you a punch out of tradition and it's, it's such a rewarding feeling to, to receive such a, like it's not an honor you worked for it, but it's for yourself, like you, you perceive it as such an accomplishment and you know that those wings on your uniform, you put them there. No one put them there for you. Uh, your, your wings are yours. No one gave them to you. You, you earn them for every moment, every, every second they were earned. And that's really, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Getting congratulated and knowing that you've, you've accomplished what you set as a goal. And you, you can't take that feeling. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Trenton Cadet Training Center, 8 Wing CFB Trenton, as well as the Canadian Army Advanced Warfare Center on this amazing opportunity. I'd like to congratulate all the candidates on this course for doing such a great job, as well as the parents uh, for supporting them throughout this process. Thank you very much, everyone.